What are you watching most closely? I'm looking at the banks, Brian. I'm looking at the banks. I'm looking at what they're saying. I'm looking at our companies and what they are saying about the economy. So if you look at the earnings picture so far, it's actually not that bad. So whether we have a recession or not, we'll find out. But the companies that are reporting have been beating their numbers. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay optimistic. Optimistic about the banks. And, you know, there's these companies that have these names, Kate, where it's like you can't tell what they do because they're so boring. And you're bringing one of them to us. This may be the most generic company name I've ever heard. City Holding Company. Honestly, City Holding Company could do anything. They could make trains. They, it could be a private equity firm. Who? It's a, as you call it, your words, a very boring bank in West Virginia. But you like it. I like this bank so much. You know, I really love the CEO because he is super smart. Uh, uh, my buddy Ashok turned me on to this one. And so there's so many things about, I like about this bank. First of all, the thinking among banking is that you have to be big. Bigger is better. Big, big, big. Mr. CEO has told me you don't have to be big. If you look at this bank, 20 years stock chart versus any of the big banks, beaten it hands down. They've gone up 5x versus much, much less. Also, they're insulated from the economy. Things don't go too great and things don't go too badly. So they're in West Virginia, they're in Kentucky, they're in Virginia itself, a conventional bank. They stick to their knitting. They have a 3% yield, billion dollar market cap. This is a place you can hide. This is a place that's not going to get you in trouble. Based in the Wall Street hotbed of Charleston, West Virginia, General Chuck Yeager International Airport. All right, the other one that you like, these boring banks, this one's a little more, uh, a little bigger, right? It's out west, Silicon Valley Bank, SVB. Uh, a bit of a different model, right? M trying, to, trying to grow a little bit faster. So are there similarities between the two? Well, again, what I like about Silicon Valley is that it's completely divorced from a typical bank. You are right. You don't want to own a bank going into a recession because what happens? You have bad loans, you have um, non-payables, and things can get very bad. These guys are insulated because they're in Silicon Valley and they don't do the traditional banking. They make loans to private equity and VC firms when they've been funded. Bridge loans, that's primarily what they do. They also make loans to wine growers. They also make loans to new uh, startups, early stage, mid stage. They get warrants for some of these startup loans in, in lieu of interest. And when these warrants, they, they think they've lo loaned money to hundreds of, of unicorns. When these warrants come due, 90% of them fail, 99% of them fail. But a couple of them that will hit, you can get three, four, five hundred million dollars in fees. This bank has 45% of its revenue from fees. For a typical bank, they make money on the spread business and it's maybe at 25% from fees. So this bank is unique. It's different. If you think yeah. tech is the future, which I do, this is what you got to own.